the Facebook egg freeze. Now, this was a story uh, that uh, I heard on the wires that Facebook was suggesting that, um, and I don't even know if it's uh, if, it, if it's um, you know sort of been verified or not, but. The idea that women of a certain age should be encouraged to freeze their eggs so that they can start a family later on in their life. For that to be suggested by a company to their employees, hot or not? Mm, big fat not. Yeah, I've even got an upside <laughs> down not. Oh, look at that though. And just to buck the trend, you've been like the... You've been the opposite of the other two. Um, okay, I know why Jacqueline and Alison said uh, not, but Anne, really hot? Um, yeah, I mean, I would, well, given that when the story broke, I went on Sky News and I was doing the kind of the business perspective. Um, from my point of view, it does seem very bizarre because Apple were, were doing it exactly the same day. Um, but I think actually, if you look at it, that to some extent they've got to be applauded because they're breaking down every barrier possible in terms of career progression for women and keeping women in the workforce um, and the premise of the story was it, it was a number of different um, perks and benefits that they'd introduced actually to keep more of the women in the workforce and I think yeah it seems it seems quite bizarre but let's applaud them for being diverse and equality and, and, and trying something different breaking down all the barriers I, yeah. I think you know, my, my view on that, though, is that there is so much technology out there where you can, you know, you know, work where you are versus work in the workplace. So, you know, there is lots of technology that enables remote workforces. Um, and I think that's a way to keep women engaged and have a family. So I think the work better, live better idea is super important and that we have technology that enables that. We should embrace it.